It's a very exciting day for us. Uh, we're reintroducing platypuses back to the Royal National Park, where they've been locally extinct for almost 50 years. This project is a collective effort um, run by UNSW Sydney uh, with partnership with Taronga Conservation Society, WWF and New South Wales uh, Park and Wildlife Services. So we source these platypuses from all over southern New South Wales. Um, we've been surveying for a number of years now um, and so we selected those sites because we knew that they had high population density uh, and evidence of good breeding populations. And then of course when you think about bringing these platypus into this habitat. Is there enough food? Is the water quality good? Is there enough depth in the water? These are all things that we've been working on for the last up to three years, ensuring that the things that platypus need are essentially provided by this river system. This is the first translocation of platypuses uh, in New South Wales. So we will be monitoring these platypuses um, for the months and years to come using both acoustic uh, and radio tracking. Um, so that'll give us a really good indication of the areas which they're choosing to establish in the coming months. You know, I've got a lot of uh, sense of responsibility for these platypuses and making sure that they uh, establish a new home for themselves here in the park. And I'm also very excited at the prospect of uh, Sydney Siders coming to the Royal National Park and trying to get glimpses of this uh, cryptic animal and just uh, appreciate uh, our wonderful uh, natural environment.